Hi everyone, this is Father Warner D'Souza. We are in the Saturday of the Octave of Easter, Acts chapter 4, verse 13 to 21. A trial of sorts is on and Peter and John stand accused of an act of kindness. It has taken the might of the Jewish Sanhedrin to come together. Politics, they say, makes strange bedfellows and so this incident could not raise eyebrows in surprise. We are told that Peter and John have healed a cripple in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. A frenzied crowd sees in this act not the hand of God but the wonders of human. Peter gives all the glory to Jesus of Nazareth and calls for a, a repentance of sin, which leads to the second mass conversion of 5,000 people, this time in the very temple of Jerusalem. Prompted by jealousy, the might of the Sanhedrin gets together. Yet, as I said, it's a strange assembly, for among Peter and John's accusers are a group of people who would not get under one umbrella on even the stormiest day. Yet, here they are now, as they stand side by side. Take, for example, the Pharisees who now stand beside the Sadducees. One understands why the Sadducees were jumping up and down, protesting against Peter and John. For John and Peter were preaching a resurrected Christ. The Sadducees denied the belief in the resurrection and in angels, something that the Pharisees held close to their heart. Yet, while they could never see eye to eye on anything, they now choose to stand hand in hand against the Apostles. Today's reading begins with Peter's response to the sham of a trial. Two uneducated fishermen against the intelligentsia of the Jewish authority. And yet the trial tilts hopelessly against the might of learning. Perhaps the miracle of the, of the heart lies in this incident as opposed to the miracle of the eyes, the healing of the cripple, which triggered off the trial. The miracle of the heart is when we trust that God is in command and He is in control of our situation. We are told that the Jewish authorities were taken aback by the boldness of Peter and John. Boldness is different from bravado. Bravado is a show or display intended to impress or intimidate. The Greek word for boldness is paresia, which translates as the freedom and the confidence which the Divine Spirit gives its spokespersons despite all dangers. It is the hallmark of the Apostles preaching. We see this in Acts chapter 2 verse 29 and 4, 29 and 31. They don't preach with bravado unlike the Jewish authorities but with boldness. Given the challenges that we face as religious minorities as in the case in India, there is a need for a new evangelization. This was a call given by St. John Paul II in Haiti when he spoke of this new evangelization, new in its fervor, expression and methods. This newness must be accompanied by boldness, not bravado, one that places confidence in the Divine Spirit in the face of any danger. The early church grew in number because of the boldness of the Apostles. Perhaps there is a lesson for us in today's reading. If you like these teachings, then I'd encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a blessed day and God bless you all.